Here's to whiskey kisses, the peachy taste of sin. Greetings, whiskey folk, and welcome back to Drinking Out Loud. I am your host as ever, Adam Bradshaw, and today it is time for the unbottling of the Flaming Heart 2022 edition from Compass Box. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be seeing this again. So sometimes, if you, if, if you close your eyes and wish real hard, little little whiskey miracles happen. This is a rare, sought-after whiskey, which randomly they found some more in the warehouse. And I said, yes, I'll take some. <laughs> because we had this whiskey in May 2023, so about 14 months ago. And we only managed to get one case. We, we, were only, we were only given one case. And that one case sold in 10 days. 10 days is all it lasted. In fact, four of the bottles sold in the first two days. Uh, which is amazing. Um, it's such a great blend. Uh, we love Compass Box here. In fact, um, you, right now you can try the Compass Box Art and Decadence in store for only $3. You can come in and try it. Uh, this is not an in-store drink. I'm sorry. This was actually part of our tasting, part of our whiskey showcase. So if you missed that tasting, you missed out because, oh, one hell of a whiskey. So why is it so special? Well, it's a John Glazer classic. Flaming Heart um, is the the big, the big, Big PT. I mean, it's funny because Compass Box has a whiskey called Peat Monster, but this is the real monster. Let's face it. Um, let's 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 read from the text, shall we? The, the the holy text of the back of the Flaming Heart box. Flaming Heart Scotch whiskey, the whiskey inspired by a rock song, on tour again in 2022. Like metal bands, some whiskies need an audience; others command one. Flaming Heart has always enjoyed performing to passionate fans. Oak, smoke, and fire reunite for a seventh time, fusing pyrotechnics with deliciousness. The whiskey is built around a new power trio of peated malts from, get this, Kalila. That makes sense. Biggest uh, distillery in Isla, known for its big peaty flavours. Delicious. Unexpect not, not unexpected, rather. Almost always there. Lefroy, well, that's unexpected. Let's face it, there's not much Lafroy going around these days for independent bottlers and blending houses. Always nice to see. Wow, there's Lafroy in this. And Talisker. When do you see Talisker by independent bottlers? Very, very rarely. Uh, I was just offered a um, a young Talisker, a 10 or 11 year old. Uh, but the price was so eye-wateringly high, I had to say no, because I don't think I'd be able to sell it. That's how rare Talisker is in these kind of bottlings. Um... Kalila, Lefroig, and Talisker. Wow. While spice from our trademark French oak custom barrels delivered both loudness and luxurious mouthfeel, as well as being perhaps the fruitiest flaming heart of recent years, you will experience a very special encore that combines remnant stocks of peat monster Arcana, our release for Belgian importer the Nectar's 15th anniversary, and a little of the 2018 version of Flaming Heart. So they've folded in some previous releases to this, just for, a, I guess, a bit of a Solera uh, experience. We love the connection to musical sampling, bringing past smoky riffs into a new arrangement. Visit our website for a playlist to accompany this, our most anthemic of whiskies. Hmm. So they don't call themselves a blending house, they call themselves whiskey makers, which is fair, because this, it, it's beyond blending. It, it's it's something something unique and beautiful. All right, time to revisit it. This is one of my favorite whiskeys of last year, and I can't believe it's back. And I had to share it with everyone. Mm. Only 9,606 of this were ever released. It's sold out throughout most of the world. It's just shocking that we've managed to get some more. Truly shocking. Um, and uh, I, I don't have a glass. That's how shocked I am. I, I'm ill-prepared. There we go. What have we got? A 2018 Victoria Whiskey Festival glass for this one. Oh, that felt good. That felt good. All right. Debaucherous, but good. So why are we unbottling this? We're unbottling this because it's being featured in our whiskey showcase. Um, 
the Whiskey Folk Whiskey Showcase is our series of events where we showcase brand new whiskies and old returning favourites, and some whiskies that may have just been, um, I don't know, not discovered yet, but have been around for a while. Hmm. It's honestly the big thing I'm getting from this right now is Lefroy. And I know, I know for a fact it's in there, but it has that iodine medicinal thing going for it, but like saltier. Like Talisker, I guess. But meatier like Kalila. Mmm. It's just a glorious trifecta of big maritime flavors. Big smoky maritime flavors. Mmm. It reminds me a lot of the Lafroy Glore, which I'm a big fan of. And actually, I look like the Talisker. What's that? The high proof one, the 57? Mmm. When smoke's that big, you need other flavors to balance it. And that's where Flaming Heart comes in with that French oak. It really is just a wonderful counter to the big coastal smoke. And it's not as prominent on the nose, but when it you hit, when you hit that palate, it's just the beautiful spiciness. Smoke and spice and everything nice. Mm. Mm. It's like a a smoky blackcurrant jam with like fennel and clove and cardamom and allspice and anise. Mm. I've been thinking a lot about whiskey and music together recently with our new uh, mixtape series that we're doing with Fermentorium. And, you know, Flaming Heart was definitely something that influenced that, that concept. Um, there really, there really are lots of parallels to be drawn between the two creative mediums, um, but it has got me thinking quite often. Like, what kind of music does this whiskey go with? And yeah, without a doubt, this is just. I want to listen to Black Sabbath right now with this. I don't know what's on the official playlist, but and when I say Black Sabbath, I don't mean who you think I mean. I, I'm, I don't care for Osborne. I'm sorry, Ozzy. Your your vocals are legendary. They're very unique, but they're great on me. I don't I don't quite get it. When I think Sabbath, I think Ronnie James Dio. That's who I think of. And this is a Ronnie James Dio of a whiskey. Hmm. And I want to thank Tenacious D for getting me into Ronnie James Dio. Their comedy album when I was in high school was incredibly popular, and they had a song called Dio, um, which made me look into who the hell this Dio fellow is. Oh man. One of my favourite artists when I was 16 years old. And I actually was lucky enough to see him at uh, Hallam University in uh, in Sheffield before he passed away. Incredible singer. Just insanely good vocalist. And the guitarist that he surrounded himself with, like, oh man, like Richie Blackmore, Tony Iommi. Like, oh. Man. I don't know if Ronnie James Dio drank, but if he did, he'd drink this. <laughs> Mmm. Oh, man. This whiskey is wearing old leather pants. It has far too much product in its hair. Um, but it's all weird, hippie, natural herbal products full of, full of weird spices and stuff. Nothing, nothing, nothing chemical going on with that. Uh, it definitely has some some cuts and some bruises. That it's got some little iodine and band aids aren't going on there. It's um, may have taken a late night dip in the ocean after a few too many uh, post gig boo beers. But um, yeah, it's a it's a hell of a character. This one. Oh, all right. Rock on. That's a hell of a dram. Uh, if there's any left after the tasting, you might be lucky enough to find this on our website. Two thirty five fifty seven at full price, which means with the 10% off, uh, it's two twelve oh one. i 
might have to get myself a bottle to be honest I think I might I think I think one of these might be coming home with me <sighs> alright Slanchavar I will see you on the, the next episode um, thanks for joining me here on Drinking Out Loud see you next time